it's Chrissy and I'm here with my August wrap up. Um, most of you won't be surprised because you might have already watched my vlogs. So you'll know that um, what I read and what took me a while to read. <laughs> and then um, this month was just like really hectic and long. It was just such a marathon of a month that I was, I was able to get some books done but not as much as I would have liked. So, without further ado, let's just get into it. The first book I read that took me eight days to read was The Nick of Time by Ted Bell. This is a like middle grade historical fiction based in England during the time before World War II. And then it's also time travel where the main character travels back in time to, I think, when England was fighting against the French. The French was it? Yes, the French. So, um, this was pretty good, but I felt like it, there were too many things all at once. Um, two wars was too much for me to sort of put together, but then, um, and there were some nice illustrations as well, but yeah, that's it. I'm I read Dune by Frank Herbert. This, I didn't actually finish it, okay, just to be clear. I only read um, book one, this much, like this much um, of the book. And then I'm gonna read the other two um, in the coming months. Just because I wanna take my time with this book because this book doesn't deserve to be rushed through because it's like a really amazing book. I love how political it is. I love the backstories. I love everything. I don't know, like, I just, I can't. Oh. It's so good. I also have a review. Um, you guys can check that out if you like. Um, okay, so after that, I decided to pick up... I bought this book this month and I decided to read it this month, which is Muriel Spark um, Symposium. This is about a dinner party with five couples and they're all waiting for this one big shot um, dinner guest, but she can't make it because she's currently getting murdered. And this is a story about finding out who murdered her and everyone else's backstory. This was actually really a delight to read. Um, this only took me like a, f like a few hours, maybe two. Well, two hours, right? But yeah, I was in and out of doing things while I was reading this. And it was so good. Like, it was funny and it's also based in England. And there was just like um, a lot going on and I was a bit confused at first, but then the author sort of explains each character and I really like that. This was a fun book. So if you ever come across this, this is a great like afternoon read or something. And then the next book, I don't know why I just I just picked this up, but I bought this also this month and I was expecting great things from it, but I was sadly let down. But it was still nice. Was the uh, Confession of Catherine Howard by Susanna Dunn. Um, it's very short. I finished this in like a day or two. This is a page turner, that's for sure. Like you're not gonna get bored. But it's just, I was expecting more and I was not, um, you know, I didn't get that. But it's okay. Um, I mean, let's face it, Catherine Howard didn't have a very long life to begin with. And um, the only juicy part was like the scandal that followed her reign and stuff like that. So yeah, it was, again, it was all right. Um, could have been better. So the next and last book that I managed to read was Alison Weir's um, The Lady Elizabeth. I bought this book around this time last year. So I just want to read the books I bought around this time last year. So at least I don't have them like for a year holding on to them. Even though I had I have other books to read. But might as well you know read what I bought a year ago. Instead of just putting it off and putting it off and then never wanting to read it. So, this is a story about Queen Elizabeth the first and her journey to the throne. This isn't like her and then her whole reign. I like how this takes place um, right around Anne Boleyn's death and then from then on till she, till she becomes queen. And like her struggles and her um, journey there, was, it was really nice because I felt like I lived it with her and it was just so juicy and fun and I really this is like what the kind of historical fiction I love to read so this was not this was not a disappointment in any way and it was fun and it was lovely it's just 
it's just like my cup of tea, you know? And then the last book that I really wanted to get to, I actually started this a week the last week of August, but I didn't finish because I was procrastinating. And then the last night when I could have finished it, I um, decided to just watch booktube videos instead. I am blaming myself, but then again, all everyone I follow on booktube is just so entertaining and so amazing. And I love all their videos, so I just couldn't help but watch it. And the Wi-Fi has been so bad all month that last night was finally like really good so i was like you know what i'm just gonna take this opportunity to watch what everyone else is doing so because of that i was not able to finish illustrado by miguel sihuko is he is a filipino author and um this i'll probably just include it in my september wrap-up but this is a story about um a filipino writer who get, who ends up murdered in new york and then his his um it's not mentor it's like apprentice or something his assistant um is writing his biography so so far i really like this um but i'll let you guys know in my september wrap up more about this beautiful book and yeah okay so this is it this is all i read in august half of this and all of these half well a third well some of this so yeah that's it you know guys thank you for sticking around thank you for watching if you like this video or any of my other videos please subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye